Are you interested in lesser known Walter II battles? Well, you've come at the right channel. See, on this channel, I like to cover the lesser known Walter II battles. The Second World War was an enormous conflict with huge battles. Think of Stalingrad, El Alamein, the Battle of the Bulge. But what about the lesser known battles? Here in Hamburg, there was a battle at war's end. It occurred from mid-April till early May 1945, where the British captured the city, but not without a fight. This here is a story of the Battle of Hamburg, a forgotten World War II battle. Keep watching. Good to have you back on the channel. If you're new, I'm Stefan. I'm a Dutch history teacher and I like to cover history on location. Like right now, I'm here in Hamburg. And if you find these on location videos interesting, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell if you want to support me so I can make better, cooler and more awesome content for you. You can do that via Patreon or via PayPal. The links are in the description. The Battle of Hamburg was the last battle during the Allied conquest of Western Germany. Hamburg suffered much damage during the Second World War. Most damage to Hamburg was not done during the 1945 battle, but earlier, in 1943. In July 1943, the deadliest Allied bombing, codenamed Operation Gomorrah, took place. It left large parts of the city in ruins and left around 40,000 people dead. In comparison, in Dresden, only 25,000 people perished. Due to its location, Hamburg was one of the last cities to be captured during the Allied offensive into Germany. Let's first look at the Allied attack on Germany. The West Wall, aka the Siegfried Line, was established to protect the western borders of the German homeland. In the chaotic retreat of September 1944, many German units fled behind this line. Allied supply problems and the failure of Operation Market Garden gave the Germans time to regroup. Now, the main Allied attack against Germany was launched in March 1945. The Allies already got a foothold in Germany when capturing the first German city, the city of Aachen. This happened in October 1944 in a brutal battle nicknamed America's Stalingrad. In order to reach the Ruhr dams, the Americans had to cross through the Hürtgen forest. From September to December, the Allies fought in a grueling battle for this area, nicknamed America's Meat Grinder. The battle ended with a German victory and after this the German attack through the Ardennes started. In February, the Allies attacked once more and that month the Ruhr Dam was taken. The Rhineland Offensive was a series of Allied attacks by the 21st Army Group commanded by Bernard Montgomery from February 8th to the 25th of March 1945. The operations were aimed to capture the Rhineland and securing a passage across the Rhine River. The British launched Operation Veritable from Nijmegen into Germany through the Reichswald Forest and encountered heavy defenses. The British broke through but suffered heavy losses, especially capturing the German city of Kleve was hard because the German defenders hid behind the rubble caused by the massive Allied bombings. Operation Grenade was carried out by American troops and was severely delayed because the Germans had destroyed the dam which caused flooding. In March, the Allies achieved their goal. Further south, Operation Lumberjack was carried out by the Americans. During the Battle of Remagen, they managed to secure the intact Ludendorff Bridge across the Rhine River. The bridge, however, would later collapse, but it gave the Allies a foothold across the Rhine River. Once the Allies crossed the Rhine River, there were no natural barriers any longer, and they captured city after city in Germany. Also, the German divisions were very depleted. There were on paper 60 divisions, but in reality they proved half as strong. Many Wehrmacht units surrendered in droves. The SS fought on more fanatically, but they were hindered by the lack of supplies. The main British push came from the British 
Second Army under the command of Lieutenant General Mal C. Dempsey. The British 7th Armed Division had Hamburg as its final objective. The division was formed in Egypt in 1938 and known as the Mobile Division under Major General Percy Hobart. The unit would see action during the North African Campaign, the Italian Campaign and was later withdrawn to Britain to be prepared for the liberation of Western Europe. During D-Day, the division landed in Normandy and fought across northwestern Europe. In early April, the German town of Ibn Buren, situated at the northeast end of the Teutoburger Wald, became a significant objective for the 7th Armed Division. Initially defended by two companies, the German forces increased to seven by April 2nd with skilled soldiers, including instructors, spread across the battlefield. The 3rd Bamachar Battalion suffered heavy losses in the ensuing battle, leading to their withdrawal. The new plan involved the 2nd Devonshires, attacking the wooden ridge from the left flank, while the 9th Durham Light Infantry and the Innes Killings moved along the main road. The Devonshire, supported by artillery and mortar fire, successfully advanced, capturing prisoners and anti-tank guns. They faced difficulties dealing with snipers and heavy German resistance. By April 4th, the armored divisions were ordered to disengage, and it took two more days for the infantry divisions to overcome the determined German resistance. After withdrawing from Ibn Buren, the division had a relatively clear run, covering 50 miles and crossed the Osnabrück Canal. Various smaller engagements, including encounters with dummy guns and Luftwaffe attacks, took place. The division faced challenges at river crossings, with bridges often blown up. The plan of advance was reconsidered to prevent the 1st German Parachute Army from reaching Bremen. The 22nd Armored Brigade moved towards Bremen and the 121st Brigade secured Bassum and Twistringen. The division encountered resistance, including a bloody battle with SS troops. In the subsequent days, the division supported other units, including the 53rd Welsh Division, in their operations. Challenges arose in dealing with German defenses and the realization that cutting off Bremen would be difficult without engaging in a costly battle. I covered the Battle of Bremen in another video. The division was concentrated east of Nienburg, preparing for the final push into Hamburg. After resting and reorganizing, the division resumed its movement, supporting the 4th Armored Brigade in expanding their bridgehead. By April 15th, the division had reached Kirschbeutzen, just 7 miles short of their next objective, Soltau. The 11th and 8th Hussars crossed the river Alle at Retham, covering 22 miles. On April 16th, a significant morale boost occurred when a Hussars squadron liberated Stalag 11B, a POW camp near Fallingbostel, releasing around 12,500 prisoners, including British and American POWs. The division continued its advance towards Soltau, encountering resistance in Fallingbostel, which had to be cleared house by house. Soltau itself, heavily defended by infantry and 88mm guns, was surrounded and on April 17th, a joint effort involving the Inniskillings, Royal Scots and flamethrower tanks resulted in the town's capture. The division's next target was Harburg, a southern suburb of Hamburg. The plan aimed to capture bridges at Harburg and cut off a part of the German 1st Parachute Army fighting to escape. The advance involved capturing surrounding towns and engaging in house-to-house -house fighting. On April 26th, the division faced a counterattack at Warndorf by the 12th SS Reinforcement Regiment, Hitler Youth Troops and others. The battle lasted all day, resulting in the enemy's withdrawal on April 27th. The division continued its operations towards Harburg, facing continuous German resistance. On April 28th, the British shelled the rubber works at Hamburg. Negotiations for surrender began on April 29th, and on May 3rd, General Waltz, the commander of Hamburg, officially surrendered the city to the Desert Rats. On May 3rd, the British entered the ruined city. Hamburg was the last remaining defense in northern Germany. When the British seized control over Hamburg, the remaining German troops withdrew to the Jutland Peninsula. Most of them went to Kiel. There they met with soldiers from Army Group Vistula, who came from the Eastern Front. The units of the British 7th Armored Division moved to Lübeck unopposed. 
There the news of the unconditional surrender of Northwest Germany caught up with them. This was followed by the complete surrender of Germany on May 8, 1945. World War II in Europe had come to its end. All in all, the Battle of Hamburg wasn't a big one as the British faced more difficulties moving towards the city. A city that fell quite easy compared to the determined German resistance the British faced earlier. I hope you found this video interesting. I did cover other forgotten World War II battles and I have a playlist for you. Find it right here. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and best wishes from Hamburg, Germany.